is Aaron Grant and I'm the head of the security and transport department here at the university. The security department is very much um, an enabling uh, function for the university so we are first responders for basically anything that occurs on the campus. Large campus, 360 acres and we have a student population of circa 17,000, two and a half, three thousand staff members. So I've been within the security sector for a number of years. Um, health and safety and security goes hand in hand, it always has done. So IOSH has been, it's all, it's, I've always been exposed to health and safety. And then through working with our head of um, health and safety, uh, Mr. Brown, it was very much, uh, can I uh, really, you know, kind of consider taking the IOSH course? Um, and it was a no-brainer. A greater understanding of um, the responsibilities that we all have um, for health and safety. Um, and again, to, to further identify um, hazards and how, what controls we can put in place to mitigate hazards and risks. I took the online course. Um, and it's very much what I expected, um, looking at uh, you know, the, the hazards that can be presented. Um, and then trying to, and it was, it was phrased really well because it made me think about how do I take what the course is teaching me onto my work and my day-to-day -day environment. Um, it really did bring home to me the, the regulations, uh, the responsibilities, and more importantly, it gave me the tools so that I could look at how we risk assess practically everything what we do. Um, I mean, my department has 31 individual risk assessments. I thought the style and teaching of the learning was was, it was excellent. Um, it was it wasn't laboured, um, and it went at a pace that allowed me to digest the information um, and, and 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 to move it along. So I thought I thought it was ten out of ten. I really did enjoy the, the delivery from the training. Learning online for me. Um, it allowed, like, it allowed me to, to go at my own pace um, and if, if something I didn't quite understand then I, I could repeat that, that area. It's slightly different if you were doing face-to-face -face, um, training or in a classroom base where I think some people might find it awkward if they didn't quite hear or they didn't quite understand and to ask the trainer to, you know, to, to repeat. So uh, again the delivery was very, very intuitive. Um, I, I got a lot out of it. The trainer's approach was slightly different because it was online, um, but for me it was clear, it was articulate, um, and I felt comfortable at all stages that I was receiving the right information, I was processing that information. Mm -hmm.